So when it comes to exporting information from Katana, there's a couple of key places where you can get your data from. First, I would recommend is if you need information about particular batches, uh, where did they come from or where did they go, you can pull up uh, information by batch number itself. So on the stock screen in the batches section here, you can then find, let's say, a particular uh, batch item like this, where you can see batch 004. This is where it was added. This is where it was taken out, taken out, taken out. And you can export that data to create a short list of those particular movements as they relate to that item for that batch. Now, in other cases where you want to draw the link between what material batches were used in what manufacturing orders, since those two are very important for each other, you can go to the make screen, the done list, and from the done list, you'll be able to select the completed manufacturing orders and choose export, and you can get export MO ingredients. And when you export this, it'll create an Excel file or CSV, whichever one you choose. And you could download that here. And inside of this, you'll see the lines for those completed manufacturing orders. Here, you'll find the product batch number for the correct manufacturing order number. And then also the ingredients that were used in that, in that um manufacturing order here. So this is an ingredient that was used and also the batch that was used for that will be available here. Ingredient batch number, ingredient batch number, ingredient batch number. And actually what will happen is if you have uh, something that's, let's say, consuming five different types of ingredients that are all batch trackable, you'll have one line from this export per ingredient. So right now I've just used, used simple examples where I've included one ingredient to make one product. But in this particular case, you could have one manufacturing order that has 10 lines that represent a different batch and a different batch quantity, even if the variant itself is the same. So you can use that, put it into some sort of pivot table to do some analyses as needed. Um, so there's lots of ways to, uh, to use this for batch tracking uh, requirements. We're currently working on in the future, at the time of making this video, we'll, we will be working on more efficient ways to pull up reporting that will auto create like a full batch traceability report. For example, what were all of the customers that were affected from the bat this particular batch through sales? What were all of the suppliers that were affected from this particular material batch through purchases? So um, currently not yet available, but of course always stay up to date um, might be something coming out in the future from the time that this particular video was uploaded. So this is our batch tracking uh, tutorial. I uh, hope you found it helpful and useful and um, be sure to stay in touch for updates.